teardown of an ionizer that I just bought off eBay. This is a model, I'm not sure if I've owned one of these before. A VM ionizer. And this one actually looks brand new. Um, in the old days, uh, they didn't provide um, plugs on uh, electrical equipment, so this does go back some time. Ooh, the sticky label's very gooey. Uh, Desac. The Breathe Easy Ionizer by Desac. Okay, let's uh, open it up. Typical looking ionizer, small case, uh, looks like a standard um, hobby type case with the holes drilled for presumably the needles behind the holes and a little uh, indicator which will almost certainly be neon. Oh it is, it's the model Breathe Easy by Dezac. Right, okay, let's uh, see. You have to use brute force to get these sticky feet off. Oh, they're stuck on well. One, oh, uh, flat blade screws, that's interesting. Oh, these feet are really disintegrating. Oh, they are disintegrating. This really is an old unit. Okay. So what I'm expecting here is uh, probably a 22 stage, which is typically the average for um, ionizers, voltage multiplier, with 10 nanofarad capacitors, one N4007 diodes, and a couple of 10 megohm resistors on the outlet output. Plus a neon and a suitable resistor somewhere in the region of 220k. Okay. Ah, this looks kind of familiar. This is familiar. As being very similar to, I hate to say, one of the shittiest ionizers I've ever opened. Because they completely missed the point. That you're you're using an ionizer now. How many stages are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. They've even skimped. It's a um, twenty-one stage ionizer in multiplier. And what they've done here is um, they've got the way an ionizer works. The voltage uh, in the multiplier builds up towards the end. And what they've done here is the resistors, which they've used green, brown, green. Uh, is that, that's a um, 5.1 megohm, is, it? is that, fifth, uh, hold on, uh, green is 5, 5.1 megohm. So they've used, um, it's the equivalent of two 10 megohm resistors, but they've used um, the 5 megohm resistors for in series. But, you know, what happened in previous ionizers I've seen like this? Oh, look at the thickness of those pins. That's quite impressive. They're really chunky pins. Modestly sharp. Not super sharp, but modestly sharp. What happens in similar ionizers made by presumably the same company, maybe under a different brand, is they create the high voltage, but what they've done is the high voltage they've then folded back and brought it back down towards the low voltage end. And this actually makes these units less effective. It, it, in really old ionizers that I've taken a bit to bits that look like this, you can actually see the slight tracking has formed sooty deposits across the circuit board between the high voltage point at the end here and the low voltage, and it's completely defeated the purpose of the ionizer. It's created a short circuit path here. And likewise, the, the sharp edge of the track here will be emitting the ions, which will just be going straight to the nearest ground they can find, which is neutral here. So, um, ah, a wee bit disappointed in this ionizer. I was kind of hoping it would have been the typical one that um, the circuit board fills the hole inside and the voltage multipliers at the back, but then it goes on to maybe a separate circuit board 
on the front um, with the pins in, like a typical mountain breeze ionizer. But um, it's not the case. So, yes. But the theory behind ionizers is that um, the, they, put, they apply a high voltage to these sharp needle points and the area of charge on the surface is greatest at the sharpest point. So you get, basically speaking, it, it charges the air with negative um, ions and the air, it puts a negative charge in the air and the air then repels from the needles and you end up with a continuous flow that you can usually feel of electrostatically charged air flowing out into the room. The air is trying to find uh, a surface of the opposite polarity and because it's referenced to the mains, it goes to um, any grounded surface in the vicinity. It could be the table. I mean, this doesn't. This might not look like a grounded surface. You'd think it's going to be a metal surface, but in reality, this is connected to the general mass of ground. And although it's got very high resistance, effectively, uh, being wood, um, it's still conductive enough in ion terms, the, the electrostatic terms, to actually attract the... Uh, electrostatically charged dust and ions out of the air. So when you mount an ionizer um, well away from uh, very conductive surfaces like, like I've got the wall here at the back with metal shelving and uh, if you mount it well away from that it creates a cloud of negatively charged air which is looking to get back to um, the a grounded positive surface and uh, that's what dissipates the dust out the air. They, they always seem to choose negative uh, polarity for the output needles and although it's always been touted as being more beneficial health-wise, I'm not sure if that's just quackery. I'm inclined to think they've made the electrodes negative because when you have a positive and negative electrode for things like electrolysis, the electrons tend to effectively flow from the positive to the negative, so the negative terminal doesn't corrode as much as the positive. And that's the only reason I can really think um, that they'd actually choose to have these needles specifically negative at an electrical level. So there we have it, the DZAC Breathe Easy um, Ionizer, which is, to be quite honest, a bit disappointing. I mean, all the components are correct. It's it's using the typical 630 volt pastors uh, with uh, 10 nanofarad. It's using probably 1N4007 diodes. Can't really see any that have the um, text facing facing me. For yep, they are 1N4007 diodes, which are rated 1,000 volts. And the only slight variation here from normal um, ionizer is the use of four resistors instead of quite commonly you'll find two 10 mega ohm resistors. But yeah, a bit disappointing. Not the construction I'd have preferred, but there you go. Worth uh, opening and taking to bits anyway.